We're chatting to Mick and Adele from Wildlife Unleashed. It's hard to imagine a world without animals. But the reality is, if we don't get smarter about what we do and how we look after not only our environment but also show a little respect to these guys, we are going to end up with a world like that, hey? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, definitely. They're yeah. saying, like, with some cockatoo species, especially over in WA, they're going to be, like, extinct in 20 years, which is crazy. So mm-hmm. you've got Tilly and Flick with us here today. Who are they? <laughs> so these are our two little pink cockatoos. Um, so they're not native to the sunny coast, but they are native to western Queensland. Why are they in danger? Yeah, so a lot of it has to do with habitat loss of destruction, um, as well as, like, feed trees. These guys love to, obviously, eat the trees and the foliage and things like that, nuts and seeds, um, and with habitat clearing and habitat loss at the rapid rates that are happening nowadays is just insane. These guys have nowhere to live and nowhere to feed, so, yeah. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm a big nerd of birds, so I just love that they're sitting in studio with us. <laughs> yeah, the smile could not get any bigger on Dana's face. You're a proper bird nerd, and this is... This, this will go on my Instagram, yeah. I, I tell you what. Straight but, to the pool room. Mick, you've also got Bluey there. Who is he? Yeah, little Blue here. He's a, um, a frill neck lizard. So, yeah, they are actually found locally. A lot of people don't actually realise this, I don't think, um, mm. because they're so um, uncommon to see here in southeast Queensland now, unfortunately. Um, they're normally sort of related to you know, people think of them up in Northern Territory yeah. and far North Queensland, but there's actually pockets of them right here on the Sunshine Coast. And um, unfortunately, there's not enough of them left anymore, again, because of habitat destruction and also introduced feral animals. So cats is a major right. part in why these lizards aren't so common anymore. Conservation isn't just about doing massive things. It's just about talking about it as well. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing. And enjoying them, enjoying yeah. the animals, enjoying looking at them, playing with them, hanging out with yeah. them and appreciating their existence because I'm scared. So I, I spend a bit of time in the water and, yeah. the, and the sort of marine conservation is my wheelhouse. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the more people I can take and experience the animals, the more that they develop a love and an appreciation oh, for, sure. for them and you go, yeah. okay, I ne- it now matters to me. Yeah. Mm. I don't want a world without them.